as the earth is revolting against the world. The history of the past has little to teach. We know little about the present. And what we know is scary. After painful convulsions, from Santiago to Hong Kong to Barcelona, our bodies collapsed. Then silence everywhere. Perplex pigeons stare at the urban desert. From the steeples of the church, they cannot know that a civilization for no apparent reason may come to an end. But the video recorder encapsulated in the satellite is sending the limpidity of colors that we have not seen in decades let's not go back to normal As normalcy made us sick. Now proliferation of viruses is an enigma we must understand. Let's forget the stupid crave for more. The crown of creation. just needs breathing just needs breathing before happily flowing into nothingness happily flowing into nothingness happily flowing into into Creatures of despair. Are we preachers of despair or castaways trying to survive the shipwreck? Are we raising disquietude or inciting rebellion? Are we raising disquietude or learning how to breathe in the hell? Are you preachers of despair? Are you preachers of despair or castaways trying to survive the shipwreck? Are you raising disquietude or inciting rebellion? Are you raising disquietude or learning how to breathe in the hell?
don't forget to smile. Because there is no alternative. The only thing you can do is survive. If you want to win, you have to become more cynical and merciless than everyone else. This is the only thing you can do. So you try. You try and play the game, but you cannot succeed. You know why? The wolves win. Because they are wolves. And we are just dogs. Hey, don't forget to smile. Because there is no alternative. The only thing you can do is survive. If you want to win, you have to become more cynical and merciless than everyone else. This is the only thing you can do. So you try. You try and play the game, but you cannot succeed. Thirty years ago, they promised a future of peace. Of peace and prosperity and freedom. Then what? Then their greed and their arrogance. Then serial killers of Black Rock and of Goldman Sachs. Then mass murderers of the International Monetary Fund, burning the forests of Brazil and Canada, drowning migrants in the Mediterranean Sea. So now, we are coming out of the cool. Thirty years ago, the Iron Lady said that freedom means natural selection, that we live in the jungle, in the jungle of competition, in the precarious jungle of unpaid work, in the jungle of natural selection, where only white pigs will be safe at the end. Natural selection is the slogan of Thatcher and Hitler, the slogan of Himmler and Emmanuel Macron. Natural selection is everywhere. In the killing fields of northern Syria, in Gaza Strip, in the Mediterranean Sea where water has taken the place of Zyklon B, in the lonely suicide of those who die because life is not life. Thirty years ago, we entered a state of sleepwalking. We've been stupid enough to trust the Alzheimer's God. Stupid enough to accept the rationale of cool. But now cool is over. The cool is now over. The cool is over now. Extinction is at hand. No reason to pretend that everything is good. Nightfall 
walls in the concentration camps where migrant people are detained by the millions just beyond the fence. You can hear the voice of a young woman coming from Honduras or maybe Nigeria screaming a nana to her child. Why did I call you out from the peaceful abyss of nothingness? Why did I take you here in this place where people are blind and all the doors are closed? I wanted for you a better life, but a better life is nowhere because life is nowhere. The end of prophecy. The crow keeps silent at last because he knows that prophecy is a dangerous game. The race of white predators is growing old, so the world is losing consistency because of the decay of the aging brain, as one after the other armies of neurons switch off. Pandemonium, fragments of nothing, besmirch the geopolitical imagination. The African desert is crossed by crowds of destitute people who stretch their hands towards Sicily and Andalou. Migrants detained in the Libyan concentration camps, millions of fugitives enslaved all around the Mediterranean Sea. Do not expect the nightmare to dissolve. Liberal democracy will never come back. It was the delusive promise of professional cheaters. Do not expect the nightmare to dissolve. Liberal democracy will never come back. It was the delusive promise of professional cheaters. Why did you call me out from the 
abyss of nothingness. Why did you call me out from the oblivious abyss of nothingness? Why did you call me out from the comfortable abyss of nothingness? Did you listen to the news? Can you feel the vibe of tragedy that is running along the coastline? Can you smell the flavor of this time oozing away? Can you smell the coming perfect storm? The silent exhaustion of life? Did you enjoy the fascist beach tour? Everywhere the same ferocious euphoria of who survived a shipwreck. Did you listen to the news? Seems that the cool is over and the voice turns raucous and ferocity spreads all around. Did you listen to the news? Burning are the forest of Amazonia, burning the forest of Siberia, and an army of children is marching in every city of the world as a ritual, as an exorcism, as an act of purification. So, why did you call me out from the abyss of nothingness? Why did you call me out from the oblivious abyss of nothingness? Why? Why did you call me out from the comfortable abyss of nothingness? Did you listen to the news? Can you feel the vibe of tragedy that's running along the coastline? Can you smell the flavor of this time oozing away? Can you smell the coming perfect storm, the silent exhaustion of life? Did you enjoy the fascist beach tour? Everywhere the same ferocious euphoria of who survived a shipwreck. The young girl stared down at the old demented man. How dare you look away and say you're doing enough when the solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. We are in the beginning of a massive extinction and all you talk about is money and fairy tales of economic growth. How dare you? How dare you? Still, the young girl stared down at the old demented man. How dare you look away and say you're doing enough when the solution's needed are still nowhere in sight. We are in the beginning of a massive extinction. And all you talk about is money and fairy tales of economic growth. How dare you? How dare you? The Oracle knows what is going to spring up from the decomposition of the rotting flesh. People have been impoverished and humiliated by the mathematical ferocity, so now they are taking revenge. As the poet said, the best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Reason has turned into financial algorithm, 
so people turn to the unreason of belonging and revenge does not listen to reason. Nevertheless, the sole witness of dreams is the dreamer himself. Capitalism is the most heroic attempt to overcome death and to fix time into a never-ending accumulation of dead labour so as to attain immortality, the frozen immortality of value that captures living bodies in this eternal trap. At last, as you can see, the prophecy is fulfilled. In the backdrop of history, vanishing is the light of reason. And mixed up are the truth and the lie. So it's time to say, may the oracle die. Powerful nations decided to go ahead. More money, more carbon, more death. The same day, the white murderers of the Midlands did not listen to the benevolent promises of Corbin. The only thing they care about is killing more Africans and more Syrians. The only thing they care about is to protect their fucking borders of their fascist rainy island. A hundred years ago, the poet said that the best lack all conviction while the worst are full of passionate intensity. A hundred years ago, the poet foretold that the second coming was at a hand, but as far as I know, Christ did not come. Hitler did. And today, Hitler is everywhere and speaks softly of our future. But I don't care so much about the termination of life on the planet. I don't give a damn about the unavoidable end of mankind. What only matters to me is that I don't recognize anymore the meaning of the words that we whispered that night. The meaning of the pledge we gave each other. In this time of bloody acceleration, gods are replaced by codes, and big data is stored in Icelandic caves, filled with computers. The imminent stampede nervously stimulates our sensitive antennae, but we cannot fully grasp the shape of the forthcoming skyline. Is the imminent imminence inevitable? Yes, it is. Nevertheless, 
you should always remember that the inevitable never succeeds because the unpredictable always overcomes. In this time of bloody acceleration, gods are replaced by code, and big data is stored in Icelandic caves, filled with computers. The imminent stampede nervously stimulates our sensitive antennae, but we cannot fully grasp the shape of the forthcoming skyline. Is the imminent eminence inevitable? Yes, it is. Nevertheless, you should always remember that the inevitable never succeeds. In June 2016, while the Americans were listening to Trump, Spignier Brzezinski published an article titled Towards a Global Realignment. According to Brzezinski, periodic massacres of their ancestors, the colonists and associated wealth seekers, largely from Western Europe, resulted within the past two or so centuries in the slaughter of colonized peoples on a scale comparable to Nazi Second World War crimes. Literally involving hundreds of thousands and even millions of victims. Delayed outrage and grief is a powerful force that is now surfacing, thirsting for revenge, not just in the Muslim Middle East, but also very likely beyond. I know the quotation is long, but it deserves to be read, because it reminds us that debts are to be paid, not only the financial, but also the historical debts that are often harsher to repay.
Yes. The age of cool is over. And it will never be back. As the planet remembers, even if you forget. Hitler was conscious of evil. He knew many things about hell. The American Fuhrer is unconscious. Like a child who tortures a bird. He is the perfect representation of America at its best. A country of demented murderers, oblivious of what they have done. This is why many people are revolting. Even if there is no way out, the only way to heal from depression is a gratuitous act of insurrection. We preachers of despair. Are we preachers of despair? Castaways trying to survive the shipwreck. Are we raising disquietude or inciting rebellion? Are we raising disquietude or learning how to breathe in the hell? Are you preachers of despair? Are you preachers of despair or castaways trying to survive the shipwreck? Are you raising disquietude or inciting rebellion? Are you raising disquietude or learning how to breathe in the hell?